ML Sports Take brought to you by Elevate Fitness of Syracuse and the Allen Angus Pub. If I had to take one team in each league as being the most dangerous in the MLB postseason, I'd take the St. Louis Cardinals in the National League, a lot of championship pedigree. You've got Wainwright, Molina, Pujols, two big-time stars in Goldschmidt and Arenado who are hungry to get to a World Series. Uh, terrific pitching, uh, Wainwright, Mikolas, um, you know, they've they, 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 they got it going on. Jose Quintana, I mean, that staff's deep, that staff is good, uh, and, and that's just a dangerous team. It's a cardinal way, man, all, all the time. It's a cardinal way. And then I go to the Blue Jays in the American League. I mean, I think Alec Manoa and Kevin Gausman at the top of the rotation um, is one thing, but then you've got the lineup, and the lineup is uh, ferocious. I mean, there's no let up when you look at Vlad Jr., you look at Bo Bichette, you look at Teoscar Hernandez, and how about the experience of a George Springer who's been in pretty much every postseason uh, situation you can imagine the last four or five years. So I, I would pin it towards, and that's a young, hungry club too. You never want to face them in October. Remember uh, going back to the Marlins in 2003. Um, but I, I would probably pick the Blue Jays, and I would probably pick the St. Louis Cardinals as being the two most dangerous teams, one from each league in this playoff for Major League Baseball. Mike Lindsley with you here. It's an ML Sports Take. Brought to you by Stanley Law Offices, the Vince Guerra Consulting Group, Prestwick Golf, and Burn Dairy. Hit me on Twitter at Mike L Sports. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and as I always tell you, enjoy the games.